What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. We are going to be doing a little bit of a pamper today. So get your face masks ready and get ready for a Carla that has just woken up. Good morning everyone. So we have woke up a little bit earlier today. It is around six o'clock. I thought I'd wake up a little bit earlier today to get the day started. I'm so excited for today to do a little pamper. It is so needed. I'm going to start off by doing something that I wish I did a little bit more often. That was really set you up for the day, really motivates you for the day. So I am going to go get some incense, burn that, get some positive vibes going. I am just going to sit here on my bed, just stretch a little bit, just get all my thoughts flowing and everything. It's just a really good way to just unwind and start your day to motivate you. So before I get started, I have just got myself a glass of water and I'm just gonna drink that first just to get me started. And I am gonna go back into my room and I'm probably gonna start off by doing a 10 minute guided meditation and then after that i'm going to do some stretches while listening to uh, like a motivational video now both the videos that i listen to i will link them down below i highly recommend giving them a listen and trying it out <laughs> So I am all done with that. That was really, really good. I really highly recommend to do both of them together. They work really well together. I have listened to a lot of motivational videos um, in the past, but this one was really, really good. It kind of talks about thinking about thinking positively about yourself and just how to have a positive mindset about everything so that was really really good i am now going to get some gym clothes on and i'm going to do a workout i do this every day anyway i'm doing a program right now so even if i didn't want to do it today i have to i really enjoy working out it makes me feel really good it really kicks your day off it really gets you started for the day makes you feel like you've accomplished something so even if you only do like a 10 15 minute workout it's gonna make you feel really really good so let's work out together okay so i am ready to get started now i've just checked what i'm doing today i am doing pure cardio which is absolute hell but we are ready for it so let's do it I'm so glad that is all over. I definitely don't feel good right now, but after I have a nice cold shower, I'm gonna feel amazing. So it was so worth it, but it was so tough. So I was debating whether to have a bath or a shower, but I need a nice cold shower right now. Let's get to it. I'm going to be starting off with the bed head shampoo and conditioner. This is just one that is really good for kind of dry hair, so it adds a lot of moisture back into my hair which I absolutely love. I'm then going to just leave the conditioner in my hair for a little while and then I'm using the Original Source Foaming Shower Gel to just wash my body and I'm going to use that on my legs as well when I'm shaving. And as for my face wash, I'm just using the Herbalife Skin Soothing Aloe Cleanser which is my go-to face wash. After I have finished shaving, I'm going to be using the Lush Snow Fairy Body Conditioner. The Snow Fairy range is my favourite, it smells so good. I now feel so much better after that shower, so I'm going to do a little bit of skincare now. So like you saw, I did wash my face and everything in the shower, I usually do that. Um, but I'm going to do a little bit of extra now. So I'm going to be doing a nice face mask and everything. So I'm going to start off by using one of these blades. Now this is for like the dermaplaning kind of facial that you can get done. So it has this blade and it 
basically it takes away all the fluff on your um, face so this really helps to do a nice exfoliation and it really smooths out the skin so when you put makeup on your application is going to look so much better and so much more flawless and smooth so i love doing this it also really brightens your skin as well and before i do that i've actually got these collagen gel eye pads that i am going to put on while i do all of that i've been so excited for this day i've been waiting for such a long time i've really tried not to do any sort of pampering so that i can do everything in this video i'm so excited to do my nails as you can see i seriously need some help but yeah i've literally picked the most perfect day ever to do this uh little pamper day because girls it's that time of the month and it is so needed <laughs> face can sometimes go quite red while doing this but that's just because I've got quite sensitive skin it doesn't hurt or anything my skin is just overly sensitive I'm choosing between two different face masks now I've got one of the Garnier moisture bomb tissue masks so I've also got this one I think my mum got me this for like my birthday. This is from the Primark Beauty um, area. So it's one a salicylic acid fusing facial sheet mask. So I might give this a go because it seems interesting. I'm not really exactly sure how to use it. This is like the instructions on the back. Um, so it's got like the sheet here up at the top and then it's got like the liquid at the bottom so it says to put it upside down and fold the sides in so i'm doing this one because um salicylic acid is a chemical kind of exfoliant that's why i didn't actually do a exfoliation in the shower or anything when i was washing my face because i knew that i was going to be using a mask I had like a chemical oh it's going through that's so weird i don't want to do too much exfoliating because my skin is quite sensitive i think that will be okay this is actually so cool i've been so excited to try this but i've had this mask for ages now well not ages like a month but Oh, obviously I'm not going to rip it open properly I've literally ripped like that much open great right there we go. so I leave it on for about 15 to 20 minutes so I'm going to pop this on I'm actually going to start to um, take my nails off so I'm going to soak them off and then when I am back, I will have my nails off, all ready to do my nails. So I'm going to sit with this for about 15, 20 minutes, watch some Wizards of Waverly Place. So excited. I'm obsessed with Disney Plus. It is the best thing that has happened in quarantine. The eye holes are so big. Oh, I need to take these off. Right. My eyes always feel so nice and refreshed after that. Those eye patches. Right, I'm... It's all folded. Right, I'm just going to put it on and then we can fix it. Why are the eye patches so big? <laughs> eye holes, even. I'm just going to leave them like that. It, I mean, my face is too small for this mask, but we'll, we'll keep it like this. Right, I'm looking like a state right now, but hopefully it makes the difference. See you soon. All right, I think it is about time for me to take this off. I've had this on for long enough now. It's always so satisfying taking a mask off. Most of my nails are off now as well. So I just need to pick a colour. I am really not sure what I'm going to do. But we'll, we'll see in a sec. So 
I've got a few more skincare products that I'm going to be using. So I've got this Clean and Clear Deep Cleansing Lotion that I am going to be using. So I just pop a little bit onto my cotton pad. I will literally just wipe that over my skin. My skin feels really nice after that mask. This is just really, really good. Um, it really makes my skin feel really refreshed. So, Okay, and then next I'm just going to go in with an eye cream. Now, I'm using the Herbalife Skin Firming Eye Gel. It feels really nice under the eyes, um, really nice and gentle, and again, it feels really refreshing. So, I am just going to tap that on. I've also changed up my moisturiser, my daily moisturiser. Um just because I wanted to try something new to see what worked with my skin so I am trying out the clean and clear again the dual action moisturizer so this has been working really really well for me um I had a few breakouts um before I started using this and this has definitely cleared up my skin really really well like I said it's the time of the month so I am breaking out a little bit now, but that is purely just hormonal, which um, we don't like, but it happens and we all go through it. This feels so, so nice. It always leaves my skin feeling so nicely. I wasn't sure whether I wanted to do makeup today, but I'm just going to have this pamper day and not do any makeup. I love doing makeup. It makes me feel so creative and it feels like a good pamper to me but today i just want my skin to breathe um, i'm also going to use a carmex on my lips i love carmex it's so good i'm using the strawberry one right now and they smell so good as well okay so that is my skin all done my skin is feeling so good right now it definitely needed a little pamper so i'm now going to go on to do my nails like i said i have already taken them all off i am going to be putting extensions on today i usually wouldn't put extensions on uh because i work in a spa so i do massage and stuff like that but being in lockdown i just want long nails i love having long nails so while i can have extensions i'm gonna do that so this is my kind of natural um length anyway i have one that here that broke but that doesn't really matter so i'm gonna cut them all down choosing between these three colors i'm definitely gonna use the glittery one because i'm gonna try something new today and you'll see what i'm gonna do i'm not sure i might go with the pink hmm I'm not sure. I think I might pick between the yellow and the pink. So I'm going to put that pole up and we will see. I'm also actually finally going to take my hair out of this towel. I always, uh, while my hair is still damp, before I brush it out, I put on this like protecting serum. It's to smooth and gloss the hair. It's got Moroccan and argan oil in, so it's really, really good for your hair. It always makes my hair feel so nice and soft. So this is literally actually just from Asda. It works so well for me and I've had it for ages. I literally only use the smallest bit because you do not want to use too much. So I put a little bit of that in my palm, just rub that in. And then I just put that in the ends of my hair really focus it on the ends of my hair because your hair can get so dry and it really helps to just hydrate the hair and then I'm just gonna brush it out my hair feels so nice right now and I'm not gonna blow dry it or anything I usually wouldn't do that anyway so I'm just gonna let it air dry my hair air dries really really quickly so I'm gonna leave that for a little while I'm gonna leave my pole up on my Instagram to see um, what colour I should do my nails. I'll probably have some lunch and I will come check in with you guys very soon. All right, guys, so now onto my nails. So I'm actually only using these clear plastic extensions. I literally got these from Amazon. They're so great. So I will try and leave the link down below for you guys. Also at this point on my poll on Instagram, people had chosen the yellow colour, but it actually ended up being the pink colour, so that is what I used. So here is a little before and here is the after, just like that, 
wish it was that quick to do my nails. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm all done with my nails. I'm absolutely obsessed with them. I just love having my nails done so much. But I actually did them a little bit longer than I usually would have them. I didn't think they were going to be this long. How does that make sense? But anyway, if you have had your nails done before and specifically extensions done, then you just know the feeling when you have them done. You're just like really over exaggerating your hand gestures. Anyway, I am now going to do a bit of a brow lamination. I usually do this for myself anyway. Um, I just haven't done it in such a long time. So I'm going to do that and uh, let's, do, let's do a little bit for before and after. Alright guys, so that is my eyebrows all done now, so they look so much more defined and I don't have any product in them which is so amazing, this is literally just from the tint and it lasts me for a good couple of weeks so um, hopefully by this time they start fading again we are able to go outside but on that note I am actually going to end this video here. So I don't really have much else I'm going to be doing today. I will probably be spending some time with my family. We might watch a film or something. But I really recommend to do a little day like this to yourself. It is so important to just take a day to yourself. You know, especially when we are all now at home, we've got the time to do it. So you might be feeling a bit down for not being able to go out and meeting your friends or whatever but this could really help you. So it doesn't even need to be a day where you pamper yourself. It could just be, you know, doing things that you really like doing. It's so important to just try and stay positive right now and try and motivate you through all of this. So on that note, I am gonna say bye and I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. <laughs>